I arrived here in my unifilator responsibility the 24th of July 2014 when the war in Syria was ongoing and uh, there were, uh, it was characterized, uh, all the region was characterized by uh, very heavy destabilization. So the major highlights I think that in the uh, two years uh, I was uh, uh, responsible uh, on uh, leading this uh, fantastic uh, mission, uh, UNIFIL as a, a mission and force commander, was to maintain uh, the southern part of Lebanon, which is our area responsibility and our maritime area responsibility, one uh, of the most stable areas, not only in Lebanon, but in uh, all uh, uh, the Middle East. Uh, the challenges were all the possible spillover from the situation in the region, uh, all the spillover from uh, uh, the Syria conflict in terms of refugees, uh, in terms of a possible sleeping cells, uh, and uh, maintaining the integrity of the, uh, the Blue Line when there was a strong tension between the parties. Uh, the solution was a little bit uh, more complex because uh, we, uh, in the south, we have two uh, Lebanese Armed Forces Brigade deployed there. And in order to maintain stability, we uh, had to enforce uh, the presence of a UNIFIL on the ground. So we passed from an average of uh, 250 operational activities per day to an average of uh, 400 and uh, sometimes even 500 activity, operational activities per day on the ground in the air and at sea. It means that uh, this might uh, have disturbed the local population or uh, disappointed the, the local population. It was not the case because the UNIFIL is made by military and civilians and uh, it's, it is an integrated mission. So we found the right balance in carrying out military operations together in dealing with the local population through civil affairs uh, uh, activities, through CIMIC, civil military cooperation uh, activities, but mainly with the dialogue, with the uh, key leaders' engagement, uh, trying to explain, with outreach operations, uh, trying to explain uh, to the local population that whatever has been done in the South, or whatever was done in the South for the last two years was just uh, in order to maintain stability and that was for the sake of the, of the people living there not for any other reason, and all was in full respect of the content of the 1701, UN Security Council Resolution 1701. I'm Italian, I come from the southern part of Italy, and when I joined the first time uh, our area of responsibility, I was surprised because uh, I thought it was uh, exactly the same environment that I left uh, uh, when I left uh, Sicily to come here as a head of mission and force commander. Behavior of the local population, uh, the way to approach to the problems, the way to solve the problems was exactly the same. And uh, since the beginning, I used to say that the only difference between people living in, the, our, in my country, in the southern part of my country, and the Lebanon is only the language. So what, uh, what are the relations with the local population, with the, uh, with the authorities, with institutions, uh, in Lebanon in general and in the south. If, if it is possible to say more than outstanding, they are more, uh, are more than outstanding. But I want to focus on the relations, uh, a relationship uh, between UNIFIL uh, and uh, my personal relationship with the people of the south. And uh, any time I had the possibility to talk with them, I found friends, I found uh, people understanding what was uh, the position, uh, my position as a head of mission and force commander to maintain an area calm and stable. Operationally, I define uh, the uh, relationship with the local population, my center of gravity. That means uh, the element that if exists might lead to the success. If does not exist, for sure will lead to the complete the disruption of the mission. So the, local, the, the link between UNIFIL members and local populations is the most important element that I recommend for the future leadership to take into consideration.